My navigational skill isn't tested on the days when the sun shines and the river is calm. The true test comes when I face the stormy and unrelenting conditions of this treacherous river. Our job is dangerous. We recognized this when we made our commitment to serve. We can't expect to live on our own schedule. The river is open around the clock with ships coming and going from ports all over the world, all of the time. To meet the needs of industry, pilots like myself rotate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. The state of Louisiana commissions pilots to protect Louisiana's citizens, environment, and economy. As a Crescent pilot, I am responsible for a 105-mile stretch of the Lower Mississippi River. Last year, we safely accomplished 20,000 ship movements, reaching 110,000 hours of piloting ships, well over 1 million miles. Louisiana is investing in a large-scale project to deepen the navigational channel from 45 feet to 50 feet. For us, that means piloting some of the largest and deepest vessels in the world. The five-foot increase could mean an additional $5 million in cargo transported for a deeply loaded ship, and with thousands of ships, it could add billions to the maritime industry on top of the billions of dollars in cargo already moving. We as pilots are going to be challenged to find that deep water channel and navigate the intricacies of an ever-changing bottom. With the larger deep draft ships also comes brand new multi-billion dollar contracts that are being completed now. It's another sign that industry has faith and confidence in the job we do as river pilots. A Crescent pilot's fundamental responsibility lies in our skill to navigate and mitigate risk, a dangerous task we've been handling for 112 years and counting. Since we are the only American presence on foreign ships, security is always on our minds. Safety is our highest priority. Some tankers on the river have the explosive power many times that of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The night I saw the fiery explosion in the Beirut Harbor, I can empathize with the fear felt by the people affected. We're constantly piloting ships loaded with the same chemical compound that exploded in Lebanon. In fact, we transport more than 30 times the amount of ammonium nitrate that was involved in that deadly explosion. This devastating incident intensifies the pressure on us to keep our citizens and riverfront safe. It is my job to protect you and the state of Louisiana from the dangers of moving ships on the mighty Mississippi River. There's no room for mistakes. The river is the most treacherous river to navigate in North America. The skills required to navigate ships in the ocean are far different than on the narrow river that drains almost half the United States. The Mississippi is third to the Amazon and the Nile amongst the world's largest drainage basins. During High River, the Mississippi runs so fast and furious it could fill the Superdome in only 90 seconds. The force of the river has the ability to pull a ship weighing 150,000 tons away from its dock. The job is not a job for the faint at heart. It's the local knowledge and skill that makes us different. But the fact remains, the harder things are, the stronger we become. With Hurricane Katrina came adversity that no one could have prepared for. Despite the devastation, it was business as usual for a Crescent River port pilot. The city of New Orleans was depending on us. Today it brings its own equally threatening challenges. Never before in history has the economy shut down, closing land-based businesses in every corner of the world. Never before COVID-19. Never before has something we can't see been felt as such a threat. People are often unaware that 90% of the consumer products they use have been transported by ship before it reaches their hands. We never skipped a beat navigating during the pandemic. Every ship had a pilot when it needed one, and the supply chain was never broken. We know the world can seem chaotic right now, but rest assured, with the Crescent Pilot at the helm, the river and those who depend on it remain safe.